One, two, three, sync. One, two, three. Hello! I'm here. This is a weird setup because this is on a table, your camera. I'm sitting on the floor because that's the only way I can get good lighting and using a good camera for once. We're gonna see how this goes. This is my sketchbook. It's from my second year of college, uh, which was 2012. And I wanna say I used this all the way until about the end of 2012, but I would have started using this in uh, around September because I got this for a class. My teacher got us all sketchbooks and he would just give out sketchbooks if he filled it all out and you showed him. He was the coolest teacher. Shout out to Obuck. He was cool. Anyway, I'm gonna flip through this. I'm probably gonna cut out a lot of this because I don't know how much this camera is going to record. Let's get started. Hey, okay. Here we go. This is before Dylan Marin was announced as Carlos. That doesn't happen until way later in the year. This is the first year that I was into Nightville. Also, I was really into Homestuck. Oh, and this is like the early time of being into Ruby. This is when Ruby was first coming out. And I made a team based on some of my OCs. That's an early Lutta, like really early version. This is before I chopped off all of her hair. I used to also have a character named Elena, which is not an original name. It just means it's just Greek for black. Yeah, her main color, I don't know. Anyway, I also for some reason always name things by colors. I don't know, that worked for uh, Ruby. They were Team Nalem. <laughs> and then Tiny Science. This is one of my favorite Night Vale po drawings that I've done. Tiny Science, it's a good time. And then Team Chasm, Cedar, Haley, Mo Maria, and Zeke. This is before a lot of characters are introduced. This is like early on. I made a whole team. Their thing was space because I like space. Oh, hey, here's some of my friends. And then intern Cecil. I don't know. It's fine. Uh, that's my friend Callan. They were, they're really cool. That's Tom. He's a broccoli. And then there's me. This is when Cookie Clicker was huge. Super huge. Ooblek! This is like my best drawing of Ooblek. This is like, for whatever reason, my favorite drawing in this entire sketchbook. That's a lie. There's a couple things in here that you, if you've seen all my videos, would have seen. Uh, Cyber Cecil from insert name here. I don't even know if they still exist. This is just a really cool drawing that I did and I colored it somewhere on my blog. <laughs> Old blog. This is when I really wanted a 3DS and I didn't have it because I also didn't have money. I really wanted Pokemon. This is when Pokemon, uh, the one with Greninja. <laughs> Funny story. Dicklet. Me trying to draw scary things. I can't draw scary things. I'm bad at drawing scary things. The best I can do is cutesy things because that's just my style and I finally accepted it. So this was from my Japanese literature class. I took it because I was a weeb, but also because I was like, well, I should learn something about Asia. And I didn't study for this test. I still got an, uh, I think I got an A. <laughs> I felt really bad because there was a girl in that class who really, really cared. I could tell she was a Japanese major and she said that she had studied her butt off for this class and for this test specifically and she got a B. And I felt really bad about it because I would have studied, I just thought that I had one more class period before the test. I didn't realize it was that day, so I just opened this up. And honestly, if you can do your notes like this, 100% would recommend. Yay, there's my Lurdy Burr. Well, Catelyn really liked my Lurdy Burr, so I drew him a Lurdy Burr. And I used to draw this on a drawing board all the time when I was a kid. I don't know why. It was just a Psyduck that would jump into a basketball hoop. That was it. That was the drawing. I would just draw it all the time, like just like that. Mm, but this is, I was trying to attempt the style that my friend draws in because he does these really weird, like over the top caricatures. So I don't know, butts is just the thing that I will do. Here's my team. That's my team. Cause I had, I had the Firebird thing, Charizard, Alakazam, that I named Cecil, Wash, uh, Lucario, which I think I named Church, and that's Prongs. And then we had to do a thing where we had to combine two animals for one of my classes. So I did an octopus and a spider. 
because they both have eight legs. I call them Piterbos. Hey, look! It's those drawings from from when I was first into Steven Universe. So Amethyst, see they exist. Piterbuses. I really like. I really like. I don't like spiders. I like octopi. They're really cute and they're super smart. I love them. See, look at this boy. Look at how dapper he is. He's so proud of himself. And he, I think I need, oh yeah, no, it wasn't, it wasn't even just an octopus. It was a blue ring octopus. Blue ring octopi are some of the most deadly creatures in the entire ocean. And then Garnet. Garnet. And then Poil. It was really hard to find a reference picture for this thing. And that, that, uh, no, it was this. This was hard to find a picture because man, man, that's wrong. <laughs> Like, I could look at a picture of man, look at her leg, leg. And then more me's, cause I like to draw me. And more me, optimism. Um, Tiny Cecil, love me some Tiny Cecil. And that leg, man, Finn, you okay boy? Hey, this is actually a pretty good drawing. Too bad it's for a Homestuck adventure. That'll never happen cause I hate a lot of stuff that happened with it. Another one. And then he's my lovely boy and he's happy. He's happy now. This is when Kings was really big. So I actually cosplayed a really cruddy Jeff at one point. And it was funny because I was walking around because I was gonna do a panel with some friends and ended up getting called Master Chef, which you know what? My costume, my armor was made out of cardboard in a college dorm and I'm okay with that. Let's make a latte. That's when that was first starting. That was the time. That was the time that me and Kellen were hanging out, waiting for Tom, and I don't even remember the full conversation. I also couldn't figure out how to turn on a sink because I couldn't find the faucet turn. This is a really cute drawing just because like, I don't know, I just like the framing of this. And then this was when Michael had like been left alone in the Achievement Hunter office back on the old building and he decided to jump on a rolling chair and he fell and he got a boo-boo. And this was before they married. Uh, I got Senti markers and then did a portrait because Callan had inspired me to do one because they did one too. And this just turned out really cool and I just like this idea. I might do these more often because I like just using bright colors. Yeah! That's the sketchbook. And then... Do 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 do! Hello. I have drawings from my friend Catelyn. I still have them. They're still in the sketchbook. Cause I really loved how they drew Pinsir. And it's cute. And he's just... Oh, oh dear. Then there's Caboose, who does bloop bloop. And then... <laughs> could be any of them. Anyway, that's all the stuff in this sketchbook. I'm gonna do one eventually soon, maybe. It's late. If this was fun or interesting to watch, let me know in the comments. Put a like in the likey button. Click that. I don't have a, I don't have a thing, I'm sorry. Click it. Yes, <laughs> and I will do more of these. If not, I'll still do more of these. Yay. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Hopefully my video did not die halfway through. So, okay. Bye.